Good evening and welcome to Southwestern Community College's Spring Commencement for 2021. I'm Kim Bishop, the Dean of Student Services. Please remain standing as we play our national anthem recorded by the vocal group First Take from Southwestern's Professional Music Program. Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. I'm Barb Crittenden. I'm the president here at Southwestern Community College, and it's my pleasure to welcome all of our graduates tonight and all of their guests. What a great crowd. It's good to see all of you. We appreciate everyone here this evening in the gym and also everyone who's watching online. This has been an interesting year for all of us. There's been a number of challenges for students and college personnel alike. COVID-19 has presented uh, many things for us to contemplate. In the gym today, we are physically distancing and we're wearing face coverings, and we very much appreciate everyone's cooperation with us on that tonight. Last March, when the pandemic hit, we moved classes online for a few weeks. Then in May, we had students back on campus with face coverings and temperature checks throughout the summer session. And finally in August, we settled into these face coverings and social distancing. While I know it's been difficult at times over the last year, the manner in which all of our students have responded has really been commendable. So students, we very much appreciate that you've been flexible, adaptable, and resilient through all of this. Throughout your life, you will continue to be confronted with unpredictable twists and turns. It may not be another pandemic. We can't be sure. It could be. But one thing is for sure, there will be things that develop that are unanticipated. Success isn't really about how you operate when things are going well in a perfect world. One, there really isn't a perfect world, so that's unrealistic. But really the thing is how you operate when things aren't as you anticipated and things are not perfect. Obstacles present themselves. This year, you've demonstrated your ability to work through that. So working together, we've been able to stay on course. And today, we celebrate the completion of this part of your educational journey. So congratulations, graduates. We are proud of each and every one of you, and we wish you well in your future endeavors. Now I want to take just a moment to announce the retirees that we have this year and faculty and staff. And if we have some of them present, I would appreciate if you would stand. First is Tim Leonard, psychology instructor. Jody Nedley Newcomb, sociology instructor. Jolene Griffith, director of human resources. 
Jan Pettit, our Administrative Assistant for Instruction, and Rick McIntosh, a maintenance technician. We certainly thank all of these individuals for their dedicated service and we wish them well in retirement. So again, I want to welcome everyone who's here this evening. We are happy to have you with us and I'm going to turn the microphone over to Kim to introduce our student speaker. It is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker this evening, Jill Wallace. Jill grew up in Greenfield, Iowa and graduated from Nottoway Valley in 2019. She was heavily involved in high school and her activities included FFA, 4-H, archery, track and field, and National Honor Society. Her desire to be involved continued throughout her time at Southwestern Community College. She has been a member of the Beta Eta Nu chapter of Phi Theta Kappa and served as the president of the chapter this academic year. Two of Jill's accolades include being one of 207 students worldwide selected as a Coca-Cola Leaders of Promise scholarship recipient. She received this scholarship as a result of her scholastic achievement, community service, and leadership potential. This year, Jill was recognized as a member of the All-Iowa Academic Team for her outstanding academic achievement. In addition to time spent in the classroom and with PTK, she also worked in our nursing department. Tonight, Jill is graduating as a double major with an Associate of Arts and an Associate of Science degree. We are very fortunate that Jill has decided to stay at Southwestern next year and pursue an Associate of Nursing degree. Her future plans are to continue her education to become a nurse practitioner in the field of dermatology. Please join me in welcoming Jill Wallace to the stage. Good evening, SWIC administration and faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates. I would first and foremost like to offer the class of 2021 the sincerest congratulations. Milestones like this deserve a great magnitude of celebration regardless of circumstance, especially if this phenomenon affected every aspect of our lives. Many of us face numerous hardships, losing a job, getting kicked out of a living complex, teaching oneself an online course, or even losing a family member. All of us have a story to tell. This moment cannot be taken for granted as we continue through the journey that we call life. From this, I have determined this is a perfect time to talk to you about hedgehogs. As we prepared to depart for spring break on March 13, 2020, I got the privilege to house and later adopt Mrs. Scarda's class pet, Pirtle the Hedgehog. One of the most remarkable facts about hedgehogs is that the adult hedgehog has approximately 5,000 spines that are individually replaced as the hedgehog develops. The spine changing process, also known as quilling, happens a couple times in a hedgehog's life. As the hedgehog develops, the tiny baby-like spines fall out and are later replaced by thicker, sharper spines. This allows for optimal protection from any predators who might seek out a hedgehog for its next meal. The main complication with quilling is that scientists might describe a hedgehog during this time as defenseless as this process is stressful and painful for the hedgehog, making them lethargic and weak. These spines do not just act as a kind of camouflage, but they protect it from the outside world. When faced with imminent danger, hedgehogs curl up into a ball with the spikes intermingled in a crisscross pattern. Until the hedgehog can successfully grow new pairs of adult spines from replacing the baby spines, it is considered vulnerable. At times, I have felt like a hedgehog. One of the most notable instances of this was walking into my first college class at Southwestern. When I entered SWIC, I had entered with the same baby spines that I have had my entire life. As I'm sure all of us had our metaphorical spines when we stepped foot on our first college campus. It doesn't matter whether it occurred at SWIC or even at another university, we always have our defenses up. I came from my last institution with feelings of discouragement and uncertainty. When class started, I sat in the back of the classroom and kept telling and kept to myself by scrolling through Instagram. 
My goal was to listen to the lecture, take notes, and promptly leave as soon as possible. Public speaking was not my forte, and social interactions made me nervous. The teacher walked in, and all of a sudden, the mood changed from a nervous expression and awkward silence to silence to smiles and excited murmur. My teacher planned an icebreaker game to help us introduce ourselves to the class. This game, called Two Truths and a Lie, has people tell two truths and one lie, and everyone has to guess which statement was the lie. Overall, the game helped calm my anxiety and understand that my peers were no different from me. They came to Southwestern for the same reasons I did. Quality education for a great price, close-knit community, or personalized attention to students. I took my first chance on my first day of class and made an honest connection with the people around me based on similarities. This led me to expand my friend group and learn about cultures from all over the world. The teachers, the staff, and foremost, the classmates, you embraced me into a culture of inclusivity and kindness. There were many experiences that I have endured as there are students at Southwestern. The shedding of my spines was encouraged, not quelled. The various opportunities and connections made here have encouraged you to grow in as many ways as possible. Given that we are all human beings and not hedgehogs, the spines that we had to leave behind do not look like spines. For some, they look like past relationships and friendships. For others, they look like career choices that do not fit with our hopes and dreams. And for the rest, they look like missed opportunities. Our spines, however, are not always shed voluntarily. Some instances force us to mature quicker than we expected. Tragedies have hit us too close to, for comfort. Stressful moments come and go, and in moments of weakness and stress, we comfort and talk with one another. In moments of fear, we hold one another. These moments have come in copious amounts. Never would we have thought we would ever face a pandemic in our lives. It took not only individual action, but collectivistic action to make a difference in the world. I would like to finish by saying that as you leave for the next phase of your journey, whether it be another university or going into the workforce, you are honest with yourself when it comes to shedding your spines. The vulnerability you display is not a sign of weakness or cowardice, but proof that you are a strong individual. Although it can be influenced by the people around in our lives, growth is entirely up to you. We cannot control when or how somebody else's growth happens, so do not let another's progress intimidate you. Now is the time to focus on yourself and do not let yourself be confined by others' expectations of you. Be leaders by being daring and confident. Admit when you feel nervous or scared and don't let anyone tell you to blend in just to fit the status quo. And finally, love your friends and family as they are always there for you. I, have made, I may have talked to you more about hedgehogs than you even wanted or needed to hear, but the class of 2021 is resilient. Your long hours in front of a computer screen for online courses, along with following COVID regulations while commuting to school, have all paid off in the end. It has been my honor to work with the teachers and faculty at Southwestern Community College. I've been allowed to grow and learn new things about myself that I would never thought would be in the cards. I want to give a special thank you to my friends and family for supporting me in this enterprise. I could not have done it without you. I would like to finalize my speech with a quote from the American author on business management and sustainability, James C. Collins. Growth is not a hedgehog concept. Rather, if you have the right hedgehog concept and make decisions relentlessly consistent with it, you will create such momentum that your main problem will be not how to grow, but how not to grow too fast. Thank you. Thank you, Jill, so much for sharing your story with us and for your thoughtful and inspiring message. Dr. Crittenton, the Southwestern family or excuse me, faculty and student services staff certify that these candidates will satisfy the requirements for the degrees and the diplomas they are about to receive. Therefore, it is my pleasure to present the Spring Southwestern Community College Class of 2021. Thank you, Kim. 
In just a few moments, we will be presenting the graduates. When they come across the stage, the audience will notice that some of them are wearing a gold stole. The stole signifies membership in Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society for Students in two-year colleges. You will also notice some graduates are wearing red honor cords. The red cords indicate a grade point average of 3.5 or above. Students who are military veterans are also wearing a red, white, and blue honor cords. We ask that audience members please remain in your seats as the, the graduates come across the stage. We do have a professional photographer here this evening, and photos will be available after the ceremony. We'd like to avoid congregating and, and grouping if we can. So, with that, I ask the candidates for certificates and degrees to please stand. Graduates? With the authority vested in me as the President of Southwestern Community College by the Board of Directors and in accordance with the statutes of the State of Iowa, I confer all degrees and diplomas as certified by our faculty and staff. Will the first row of graduates come forward? The others may be seated. Candidates for the Associate of Arts degree. Benjamin Alil. <laughs> Alina Catherine Allen. <laughs> Manuel Alter Wugel. Devin J. Baker. <laughs> Marina Lizette Pasaldua. <laughs> Nellie Beeman. Riley Jean Beard. <laughs> Mackenzie Cleo Beatty. <laughs> Kayla Bentley. Emma Marie Burning. <laughs> Peyton Berg. <laughs> Paige Joanne Bush. Haley Marie Chu. <laughs> Wade Sanders Davenport. <laughs> Ali Sue Enright. Hunter Fry. <laughs> Joshua D. Fuller. <laughs> Julio Goncovos.
Dawson Goodridge. Miles David Green. Rachel Gregg. Abby Faye Elaine Harper. Darian Elizabeth Heideman. Wyatt L. Hewlett. Storm Anthony Hoadley. Abigail Christine Hood. <laughs> Kelly Maria Cashel Hunt. <laughs> Demetrius Johnson. Briley Nicole Kemper. <laughs> Isabel Eve Kinsey. Brock Kiner. Anna B. Larson. Alexis Lenz. Amanda D. McBurney. Sydney Ray McKinney. <laughs> Taylor Nicole Miller. <laughs> Colby Page. Sydney M. Pantini. <laughs> Cynthia K. Patterson. <laughs> Mamie Pesima. Jordan Renee Redeker. Victoria Jean Reynolds. Brandy L. Ridley. Fanny Savakula. (laughs) 
Caitlin Shedd. Lexi Schmitz. Megan Shin. Jillian Simmons. Emily Partida Sorlozano. Lillian E. Poole Starks. Michaela Jean Swanson. Lauren Keegan Waddle. Jill Nicole Wallace. Bryson Wallace. Winter Waterhouse Brennan. Caleb Dwayne Wright. <laughs> Candidates for the Associate of Science degree. Deja Lede Brown. Maria Domingo Francisco. Miranda Michelle Fargo. Brooke Halterman. McKenna Hudson. Elena Rose Link. Molly McNeil. Kiana J. Morgan. Jenna Parfenyuk. Madeline Schwalek. Paige Swalik. <laughs> Briley Ann Sodergren.
As we close our commencement ceremony this evening, I would be remiss if I did not thank the following people and groups. First, I would like to thank the student services and maintenance departments for all of their time and help in preparing for our ceremony today. Due to COVID-19, we had to alter our traditional commencement plans again this year, and the staff enthusiastically agreed to host three ceremonies in one day to ensure our students were able to walk across the stage and receive their degrees and diplomas in person. Thank you all so very much. Second, I would like to thank the entire staff for working hard this year to provide the best student experience despite the challenges faced by COVID-19. It was not always easy, but thank you for going above and beyond to make our students feel welcomed and safe on campus. Next, thank you to all of the faculty for continuing to embrace technology and oftentimes teach in person and virtually simultaneously. The care and compassion you showed the students did not go unnoticed and we are so fortunate to have each of you on our campus and in our centers. Next, thank you to all of the family and friends who have supported these students through and throughout their entire educational careers. You have been an essential piece to each graduate's success. Before the evening is over, I would like to acknowledge the retirement of Dr. Barb Crittenton, who has been president at Southwestern since November 1996. Dr. Crittenton made history as the first female community college president in the state of Iowa. She was the recipient of numerous honors and awards during her time as president, including the Outstanding Chief Administrator Award from the Iowa Association of Community College Trustees. We are fortunate that we will continue working with Dr. Crittenton through the end of July. We cannot thank you enough for your passion, leadership, years of service. Southwestern certainly would not be where it is today without you. Finally, I would like to thank and wish the very best of luck to all of our graduates. Thank you for choosing Southwestern Community College and being part of our family. We are excited to see where your journeys take you. Please stay connected and stay in touch. Before we officially conclude tonight and, and congratulate our graduates, I want to ask all graduates and families to please exit the building and meet outside after, after the ceremony for pictures. Please do not gather on the gym floor. So at this time, would the graduates please stand? Graduates, please move your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2021.